When the man sees a mic, he just can't stop himself. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Neil Patrick Harris musical moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at any screen performance featuring Neil Patrick Harris, whether as himself or as another character, that demonstrates his impressive musical talents. Cue the music! Well, the time of year is here again. Number 10. Are You Ready for Christmas? 2013 Disney Parks Christmas Day Parade. Ends and then we should be good to go. For the past several decades, the Disney Parks Christmas Day Parade has aired on television annually, delighting both children and in 2013, diehard fan Neil Patrick Harris. Singing a fun opening number at the parade to stall for time, Harris interacts with Disney characters, a group of newsies, and confronts Darth Vader himself. You don't know the power of the dark side. Oh, Darth, you need to turn that dark side into a Disney side. This number ends in a spectacular fashion with fireworks and the entire parade joining in on the dance number. Harris brings his love of musical theater to a big audience at Disney, with the entire crowd cheering him on the whole way. And I am telling you. Number 9. Undercover on The Voice. Best time ever with Neil Patrick Harris. I'm the best man you'll ever know. This short lived show featured a number of moments where Neil Patrick Harris pranked people or went undercover on various shows. And this moment was probably the most memorable. Going undercover on The Voice as the new Austrian host of the show, Neil bumbled around the set making things a little awkward between himself and some of the hosts. Bleak, you are my favorite coach. Uh, what uh, what hey, do you man. do before, before this show? Man, uh, I, thought he was my, I thought I was his favorite. However, he revealed himself in classic NPH fashion by singing to the judges. It's worth watching to see their reactions when they realize they've been had. You think that's weird? I'm not finished. I'm not Jürgen at all. My name's Neil Patrick Harris, and you're on my new show, Best Time Ever! You <laughs> I feel good. Number 8. The Count, a series of unfortunate events. When you have Neil Patrick Harris playing a role, you'll find any way possible to add some singing. Who else has such robust good looks in such a large amount? I'm handsome and I'm talented and love your bank account! While Count Olaf is a diabolical villain, set on ruining the lives of the Baudelaire's, it's hard not to love the Count when a man like NPH plays him. This hilarious song sets the stage for Count Olaf's antics throughout this series, and also reminds viewers that this will be a more musical retelling of the story. It's the Count, it's the Count, it's the Count, it's the Count, it's the Count. Harris's charisma oozes through in this song, even if it can be a bit dissonant at times. But that is, after all, the point. And as anyone in the theater knows, after a grand entrance, the audience is supposed to applaud. Applaud means go like this. But I want you to know that I am more than just a song and dance man. Then again... Number 7. The number in the middle of the show. 65th Primetime Emmy Awards. There's still 90 minutes to go. In his time hosting the Tonys, Neil has done a lot of musical openers to match the theme of the evening. But even at an award show for television, the man just can't help himself. Halfway through the primetime Emmy event, Harris suddenly burst into song, making the middle of the show a bit more entertaining. And now without any further ado, here's some really sexy dancing in the middle of the number. That's the number in the middle of the show. Joined by Sarah Silverman, former co-star Nathan Fillion, and a troupe of sexy dancers, Neil Patrick Harris does the audience a favor by wasting three minutes on an arbitrary number. But what an amazing arbitrary number it was. Thanks to this completely arbitrary number in the middle of the show. Number 6. Dream On. Glee. Yeah! Nobody knows where it comes and where it goes. 
This Aerosmith cover is a fantastic duet between Neil Patrick Harris and Matthew Morrison as they play old high school rivals. Brian Ryan, yes, that's the character's name, and Will Schuster try to one-up each other in this incredible rock ballad. And NPH hits some impossibly high notes. Harris's character is bitter and cynical, his life having not gone the way he wanted it, and he blames the glee club and the arts in general for giving people hopes and dreams that don't match what life is really like. Maybe tomorrow the good Lord will take you away. The performance by Morrison and Harris, their incredible vocals, and the context of this song within the episode make this one of the more iconic covers in glee. Number 5. 2011 Tony Awards Duet with Hugh Jackman, 65th Tony Awards. Your show is how I met your mother. I'll do the show, do the other. The 65th Tony Awards had a lot of great performances from Neil Patrick Harris, including an incredible opening number that invited heterosexuals to enjoy musical theater. We're asking every hetero to get to know us better. Oh, it's not just for gays anymore. The best part of the evening was when former Tony Awards host Hugh Jackman challenged NPH to a musical medley. These two stars battle it out with classic Broadway hits like Anything You Can Do and You're the Top, in an attempt to outdance and outsing the other. But if body on the bottom, you're the top. In the end, both hosts celebrate each other's greatness, and the number ends with the two highlighting their many talents. Jackman and Harris are both incredible hosts that radiate charisma, and seeing them together on stage is a dream come true. Disappeared as a moral dilemma Number 4. Brand New Day, Dr. Horrible Singalong Blog. It's true, I was vague on the house, so how can it be that you have shown me the light? The story of one man's rise to villainhood isn't usually accompanied by so many great musical numbers. But when NPH is involved, would you expect anything else? When Billy's love interest starts dating his arch nemesis Captain Hammer, played by the brilliant Nathan Fillion, we see his resolve grow stronger in this incredible and exciting number. And she may cry, but her tears will dry when I hand her the keys to a shiny new Australia. Up until this point, Dr. Horrible is still too good of a person to kill anybody, even his nemesis. But this is the last straw. And seeing that unfold musically, along with excellent patter and an upbeat, intense score, was the highlight of this web musical. Tell everyone goodbye. It's a brand new day. Number 3. Sugar Daddy from Hedwig and the Angry Inch, 68th Tony Awards. I've got a sweet tooth. For licorice drops and jelly rolls. This fantastic performance from Hedwig and the Angry Inch was a hit at the Tonys, and a pure showcase of Harris's talent for the stage. Playing the genderqueer rock singer Hedwig Robinson, NPH delivers sexiness, passion, power, and vulnerability all in just a few minutes on stage. The number is not only incredible musically, but is also quite funny to watch as Neil marches through the audience and plays around with some celebrities like Samuel L. Jackson. This may be one of Neil's best performances, and it's a shame we can no longer see him as Hedwig on Broadway. I know what you're thinking, what's Barney been drinking? That girl was smoking hot. Number two, nothing suits me like a suit. How I Met Your Mother. Two score a 10 would be just fine, but I'd rather be dressed to the nines. What better way to celebrate the 100th episode of a show than with a rousing musical number about suits? Forced to choose between a hot bartender or his giant wardrobe of suits, Harris's Barney Stinson suddenly breaks into song proclaiming his love of suits to the world. Wingman I can wear, they're all so debonair, the perfect way to snare a girl with daddy issues. Not only is this a unique musical number, in a sitcom that hadn't used NPH's musical talents to a great extent until that point, but also it's a legitimately fantastic song that was nominated for an Emmy. A legendary song from a legendary character. Wait for it.
Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Don't hit the loo, and whatever you do, put down the remote. Waiting, I'm passionately snatching every expectation, every action's a lack of creation. I'm laughing in the face of casualties and sorrow for the first time. I'm thinking past tomorrow. That's right, it's bigger. <laughs> Number one, bigger. 67th Tony Awards. Let's make it bigger. Tonight it's bigger. Who will take home a Tony statue? We don't know. This opening number had the audience on their feet wanting more. The incredible choreography, the spectacle, the clever lyrics written by Hamilton's Lin-Manuel Miranda, and of course the performance of Neil Patrick Harris, all make this number so entertaining that it won an Emmy. Make it bigger. It's bigger. That's right, it's bigger. It's bigger. I just learned this dance like half an hour ago. We're going bigger. The previous year's opening with NPH was great as well, asking what it would be like if life were more like theater. But clearly Harris decided to up the ante the following year and make it even bigger than it was before. All of Harris's charm, singing and dancing, as well as his talent for magic tricks are combined to make this one opening that won't be forgotten anytime soon. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.